Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and today we have a fun-filled video of everything Love Notions Glissando. <laughs> But before we get into that, I want to really quickly highlight the dress that I'm wearing. So this is the Celeste dress by Itch to Stitch. This is a, um, it's such a flattering dress. I'm going to pop footage of me literally taken just like a few minutes ago of um, what I'm wearing today. Um, this dress, I was head over heels in love. I was a tester for this. I think it was last summer. It was released last July. Head over heels in love with this dress. Loved it. The fit, I mean, there's gathering across the tummy, which I you would think wouldn't be very... Um, uh, flattering, but it totally is. It has an ampere waist, but it doesn't, um, I don't know, it doesn't make you look pregnant. <laughs> like, it has very flattering lines, these really cool pockets in the front. It's just a really fantastic, I mean, the beautiful v-neckline, a really fantastic dress pattern. Um, I, uh, it comes with a, or has you putting in a side zipper to get it on and off, but she had mentioned in testing that she thought that she could get hers on and off without having to put the zipper in, so I omitted mine, and even though I'm very busty, I'm still able to get it on and off over my head very easily. But the reason I'm talking about it today is that this week she just released, um, so when this released back last July, she was still working off of her old block and her old size range. She has since extended her size range and is re-releasing a few of her older patterns in the um, new extended size range. Now, all of the new ones since that point are all being released in the full size range, but now, um, she has just released this one to go up to her size 40, which is so exciting. If you've already purchased this pattern, um, it just shows up in your downloads. I just went and checked my account, and I have both um, files. I now have the um, the both size ranges um, in my downloads uh, part there in my account on the website. So if you've already purchased it, you should be good to go. But if you had not purchased this dress and we're kind of holding off, Now's the time. Um, it's on sale right now for the re-release of this pattern, and um, let's see. I'm not sure when the sale is over. I was not. I didn't test the second time around. She only tested the um, the new size range. So, and I'll leave a right here what the waist and hip or bust waist and bust and hip <laughs> um, range is now for this pattern. But it is so good. Definitely go over to Instagram. There've been a beautiful versions by the testers. It's just such a good sheath dress. I highly recommend it in anyone's. Um, pattern catalog. So I just wanted to talk about it because it is on sale right now, 20% off, um, possibly through the weekend. Um, it's only on sale for a week, and I think it went up on Tuesday this week, maybe. I could be wrong. Um, anyway, I'll link the pattern down below if you'd like to go take a look and um, have uh, have a look. So it's just a really good one, and I was very excited to see that she released it in the full-size range. So anyway, just wanted, if you hadn't seen that yet, I just wanted to highlight that real quick because it's, it, again, it's just such a good one. All right, the glissandos. Okay, guys, today's Feature Friday pattern by Love Notions is the glissando pants, skirt, and shorts. If you do not have this pattern in your library, you need to go for $5 today, which is the 27th <laughs> of, um, of August, 2021. You need to go buy this pattern for $5. This is such... A versatile pattern. It is so good. In fact, it's everywhere in ready to wear right now. And I have brought this pattern in so many times when I do my ready to wear um, and pair love notions patterns with it, which I'm going to start sewing a lot of those up. That I think my next one that I do, I'm going to do a plans video, like um, an inspiration video like that, and then actually sew up the looks. <laughs> like the whole looks, because I think that'd be fun. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and pop in, I'm just gonna scroll some images of both, because this pant, this pattern comes as a cropped pant, wide leg cropped pant, shorts, and skirt. You could very easily take the cropped pant down to the floor, you know, add a good six inches or so, and um, take them down, oh, I would add six inches, I don't know, tall people may need to add more. <laughs> Um, and make these a full length pant. Now, these sit at your natural waistline. It comes with a button fly, um, waist darts in the back. We've got little, um, like a jean type pocket there in the front. Um, it's a waisted pant. Um, back, there's versions for back pockets, but this pattern, um, I'll leave down here. Let's see, it's, um, a 24.5 inch waist up to a 49.5 inch waist, and then a, um, 34.5 inch hip up to a 59.5 inch hip. 
I'll leave that down here. And this comes in a, this, a lot of their patterns are alphanumerical, you know, like extra small, small, medium. This comes in actual sizes, so it's a size zero to a size 32, and um, it is just so good. The other wonderful thing about this pattern is that it comes with a full belly piece. <laughs> I had no idea how badly I needed this in my life until, you know, I was going through, as always with most Love Notion patterns, she goes through and is very detailed in um, helping you with fitting and that sort of thing, and um, go, walks you through how you determine if you need the full belly, if you need just the standard front or the full belly front. And um, I'm like, you know what? I bet I need the full belly front, especially because she drafts for a very, um, like a curvier, like a waist to hip ratio, a very curvy 10 inches from your waist to your hip. I have like at best six. <laughs> Not even that. What is my waist measurement right now? I have like four inches right now because my waist is obviously ballooning, but even on a good day, it's like five or six um, difference between my waist and hips. Uh, so I'm like, I bet a full belly because it gives you extra room in the front and a little bit of extra room in the crotch length there. Um, so it kind of the, your, your front piece kind of bows out just a little bit, just to give you a little bit of extra room. But then it also gives you that length because the fabric has to travel over your full, you know, a fuller lower belly. Um, so you're not getting like real short up in the crotch area. Um, it's just genius. And it worked like a charm. <laughs> I, oh my gosh, yes to all of that. Because I've had babies and um, that area of my stomach, even on a good day, um, now when my waist swells, it really is more my waistline and above, like right underneath my rib cage kind of. Um, I don't really bloat in my lower GI tract, which is very bizarre. It's like my upper GI tract where I get all my bloating and swelling. Um, but I still have like, I, I do not have a flat stomach. I will never have a flat stomach, that's okay. I had, I've had babies and I had twins. I do it once. So, <laughs> um, anyway, it just really solves all of the problems. Now, because I have the waist issue right now, I was very keen on getting in and figuring out how to, um, rectify that so that I could wear this pants pattern and it fit really well. Um, I was also keen to get in and just really work on the fit of both, um, well, the bottom, the shorts slash pants. I mean, the skirt is pretty straightforward, um, but mess around with the crotch and all that kind of stuff so that I could get a really good fit on these because I just think that there's so many options for this pattern. <laughs> And I, yes, I, I just, I love it. I was a tester for this back when it was released last late summer, last late summer, last early fall, that time frame. And um, unfortunately I ended up getting rid of that pair because it just got too tight in the waist. But now with this new hack, <laughs> which I'm gonna talk about here in a second, um, I can't wait to make all of the pairs this winter. Um, this may be my woven go-to pant pattern. Um, I have a couple of ideas of some other woven pants I kind of want to make a little bit more flowy, but as far as structured woven pants, I think this is going to be it for this winter. Um, anyway, before I go any further, I'm actually, I'm an ambassador for Love Notions Patterns, um, so I'm part of a group that, um, you know, we help her with um, the first level of testing of patterns. Um, we all contribute to content for Love Notions as well. Um, yeah, and just kind of sounding boards, that kind of thing um, for her as she uh, delves into pattern de development and all that kind of stuff. It's, I'm so glad to be a part of that. I just really am having a good time um, being with all those women that are on the group and um, Love Notions is just such a fabulous um, pattern company. I just, I really love the people behind it. But anyway, I am actually on their YouTube channel today showing you, um, I'm going to briefly show you, I'm not going to show you on me, but I'm going to briefly show you the pants that I made. I'll hold them up here, but I'm actually on their YouTube channel today showing you how to turn the button fly into a zip fly. And, and in fact, both pairs that I've got here in my lap are both zip fly. Um, just because, well, I'll talk about that more in a second, but, um, I'm showing you how to do that. And I'm also showing you the pair that I've made for that video and um, I'm wearing it both as a suit 
on there and also more casually. So definitely I will link it up here, but I'll also link it down in the description box so you can go over to Love Notions. If you didn't know, Love Notions has a YouTube channel and um, ambassadors and sometimes Tessa and Tammy who um, run Love Notions, like they'll pop on with tutorials and that sort of thing. But then a lot of the times it's the ambassadors um, that are popping onto the channel. So it's a really good one to follow as well. Um, so yes, I will leave a link, but definitely go check it out because um, yeah, I'm over there today. Um, okay, so let's talk Glissando. Hopefully I've been showing you different, I mean, basically my entire uh, <laughs> inspiration Pinterest board for outfits were, you know, my three style words, which are um, classic, chic, and uh, current. Um, I have a big Pinterest board that kind of embodies that when I was developing my signature style words. And um, I'll leave a link to that down below as well because that's where all of these images were pulled and they can all be made with the glissando, um, whether the skirt, the shorts, or the pants. Now again, the skirt's pretty straightforward. The only alteration that I have to do on that, and I haven't made one, um, I'm actually in the process of making a skirt for myself for summer, a white denim one. <laughs> it should have been made much longer, but then I got super depressed that nothing wasted fit me. So um, anyway, I'm gonna be doing that this as well, and I'll totally show that to you when I'm finished. But um, the skirt, the only thing I do to the skirt is um, shorten it by two inches because I'm 5'2". So um, everything usually needs to be shortened by two inches. Sometimes that's divided up in places, but <laughs> for the most part, I have to lose two inches on a pattern. Um, so I measure, um, a size for the size 10 if I go by my hip measurement. So my hips right now are about 39. They were running about 38 and a half. Um, I've put on some weight. So now they're like 39 and a half probably. Um, so I went ahead and sized up. I think the size 10 is for a 40 inch hip. So I went ahead and sized up because I knew, um, I felt like that with the full belly would fit me really well in the hip area, but that kind of thing. And I was correct um, with a few tweaks. But <laughs> my waist puts me in a size 16. Now I could grade out, but my waist fluctuate, fluctuates so much, even in the course of the day right now, that a size 16 is gonna be gigantic. And then because I have a very small um, waist to hip ratio, my pants just fall down. It's a very, it's not good. Um, so I really need things to be anchored at my waist, especially if they're high waisted um, or things that sit at your natural waist in order to keep them up. So when my waist fluctuates so wildly, cause it fluctuates right around my actual waistline, um, I just have a real hard time keeping pants up. So um, what I did was I cut a size 10 um, everywhere um, for the for the shorts. Well, well, we'll start with the pants. I cut a size 10 everywhere with the pants. And then I cut um, a size 16 waistband and uh, lengthened that even a little bit more, mostly because I was putting the fly in and so you need a little bit longer waistband because it has to, um, travel for the underlap and the guard here, which is a little different than the, the button fly. So you just need, I usually add just an extra four inches, two inches on each end, because it's so easy to cut it off at the end than um, to not have enough, obviously. So um, I, what I did is I just completely omitted the darts in the back. Um, I just didn't sew them at all. Now, you could definitely sew, if you wanted to do something like this, but you feel like you still need a little shaping in the back, you could still sew darts, just maybe not as big. Um, but I'm finding that, I mean, I needed all the room in the back, um, and the elastic gives me the shaping that I need. Now, it's not a smooth, you know, like this, this pattern, sewn as is with the darts is smooth across the back because that's what it's intended to do. <laughs> but um, with the elastic, obviously it gathers all of that in the back. And so it's not nearly as smooth in the back, but I just have kind of decided that that doesn't really bother me. Mostly because when I'm feeling, when my waist is doing this, when I'm really puffy and swollen, I um, don't ever tuck anything completely in. I'll do like a little half tuck. So I'm absolutely fine actually, because usually the back half of me is covered anyway. Um, I just really want the front. I want that shaping that the front of the pants give me, and this is just really fitting the bill. Now, I have filmed a video on exactly how I finish off the waistband and how I put my elastic into the waistband, um, and I was gonna put that with this video today, but to be honest, um, my, I, I've had kind of, I've, it's been 
not of, as productive of a week as I would have liked. <laughs> um, I think I'm fighting off a little something. Um, you know, I was actually back at my doctor for my autoimmune stuff, and um, he does has this little machine that tests different things. He's a naturopath. Is that, do I say that right? Naturopath? So he is healing with like herbs and supplements and that kind of thing. Um, I see an MD as well, but I really like the gentleness of herbal. And I also find that he is much more likely to problem solve with me than um, the regular MDs are. <laughs> They're kind of like, here's the test that we run. Oh, nope, those didn't show anything. You're fine, it's all in your head. Whereas he will actually sit with me and help me figure things out. And you know, sometimes it's as easy as taking a food out of my diet just for a little bit of time. Anyway, I think I have a little bit of a sinus infection. I'm, it's not COVID, I'm fine. <laughs> But um, yeah, it, I've just been a little bit tired this week and um, yeah, I think we're figuring me out. I actually did a neti pot for the first time um, ever. Holy moly. I think it's gonna be great once I, <laughs> once I relax during the process. Oh my gosh, does anyone else do those? I almost felt like I was drowning actually for a little bit. I mean, I can breathe through my mouth because it's literally just going through my sinuses, but just that, I don't know, it was, a little off-putting, but I will continue to do it because I think that's what I need to do to get some things back in balance so that, because my body is such a delicate flower, <laughs> just reacts so crazily. But anyway, um, so the Teddy, um, so long, I did not have time to film that, to do anything with that. So that is actually gonna start next Sunday instead. So for this Sunday, I'm actually gonna put up the tutorial for how I do my elastic waistband just in the back of a pattern that doesn't come that way. Um, so that's gonna be the tutorial that's on Sunday. So if you're interested in doing your own elastic back on um, a pattern, um, that will be on Sunday and you can go watch that then. And if you're interested in putting a zip fly in instead of um, the button fly that comes with the pattern, that's on the Love Notions pattern or page. So yeah, and it's, I'm highlighting these pair of pants. I promise my pockets, I used <laughs> pale linen for my pockets. When it's on my body, it does not poke out. It's just, it's the elastic and it's all weighing it down while I'm holding it. Um, but yeah, okay, so I've made the pants and I'm so obsessed with them. Um, again, left the darts out, I made the size 10 and then did the size 16 uh, waistband. I just really love these. Um, again, I'm not gonna show you these on me. You're gonna have to go over to Love Notions to see them actually on me, but oh my gosh, this is the heavyweight linen from the fabric store, and it's the same linen that I made my Heather blazer out of, and so they look so cute together. Um, it's like a little impromptu, wide leg cropped pantsuit. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. <laughs> I'm just really head over heels. Um, I'm just so tickled that this worked. So, and I'm liking the way it fits. Even with the extra fabric in the back, I think, you know, even the heavyweight linen, um, it still sits fine. And, you know, I do have some gathering, but I don't, I don't think it looks unattractive on my rear end. But, you know, I know that pe people's rear ends are, are different shaped. So, you know, take that for, for what it's worth. But that's what I've made for, um, for their channel. So definitely go have a look. Now, changes that I made to the pattern. I shortened the crotch um, by three quarters of an inch, both in the front and the back. That's really because I just know in Love Notions patterns, I need to shorten that area. Now, um, I shortened my Allegro's by a full inch, and as I wear my twill ones, which were the last ones that I did with those, I think I need about an extra quarter inch back in that, front and back, which would be a half inch total, um, because I find that, especially right when they've been washed, they do loosen up, but they're just a little bit short. <laughs> uh, but I mean, I'm just, I'm 5'2", so I have to shorten things pretty much everywhere. So three quarters of an inch though in the front and the back on this pattern were perfect. Um, and even that, using the full belly piece, it does give you a little bit of added room there in the, in the front crotch area but it seems to be perfect now. So I'm very, very pleased with that. So three quarters of an inch in the front and the back, and then I um, scooped out the back um, curve by just three eighths of an inch, where, right where it gets that deep curve. I just scoop it out three eighths of an inch, which is also, it's just the way my butt's shaped. <laughs> I just need that curve to be shaped that way. So, and that's something that I know that I need. That's it. Um, oh no, on the pants, I did shorten the leg around the knee. I shortened that by an inch and a half. So, um, 
or an inch and a quarter. So then I have a full two inches taken out because when I pull up the crotch and then the leg, it fits perfectly. So an inch and a quarter at the knee and then um, three quarters of an inch at the um, crotch. And yeah, that's all I've done. And it fits so well. Um, so then I had this red linen that was going to be a pair of shorts. You guys saw this in my summer plans video and I'm like, it still needs to be a pair of shorts. So I did the same thing. This is the size 10 and then I did the size 16 waistband and just made it really long. Um, I did the zipper in this one. Oh my gosh, guys, in case I feel like I need to share my failures on here as well, but the, um, the, shield the fly shield that keeps everything nice and um protected from you zipping your underwear into your pants i totally sewed this onto the wrong side instead of sewing it onto the right side i sewed it onto the left side <laughs> and that doesn't work because then it's in the way because then it's the overlap and that gets in the way of like buttoning thing and i didn't even realize it until i had like put the waistband on which was so annoying got it fixed, but this is kind of a loose wave linen. This is also from the fabric store, but this is not one of their normal lines. This was like a, just an, a, you know, they called it something, postal red something linen. Um, so it's not as heavy as their heavy linen, but it's heavier than their premium linen. So like right in between, but it's perfect for these shorts. I mean, I think it just, it works really, really well, but it's, a, it is loosely woven. So unpicking was a bit of a nightmare, but unpicked it, got it done. Everything's good. This has the elastic waist in it. Again, I put the short or the pockets on this pair. Although when I'm wearing a shirt, as I'll show you right here, um, you can't even see the pockets. So I probably could have left those off and that would have been fine. You know, I thought about if, um, I decide that I do want to go back and make these more wasted one day, you could just take the, um, waistband off from the back, put your darts in, and then um, take your elastic out and just shorten your waistband at your side seams. Um, but I've got pockets on there, so the pockets would have to come off. So that may be more, you know, these may just be my swollen shorts that I wear when <laughs> I'm feeling extra swollen. So yes, I'm just loving the way these look with the functioning like zip fly. Um, okay, the reason that I put zippers in this and not the buttons, because, um, you know, these are, are designed to fit, um, to be fitted at your hip and then, you know, fit it at the waist and hip and then get relaxed when it hits your thigh. That's the, the design of the pants. So putting in the elastic, you know, I still want to stay true to the look of the pant as much as possible. And, but I found that, you know, a lot of times with buttons, like you'll get the gaping and they'll pull, um, if you have too much stress there. So if you're using like a stretchy, like any fabric that's got a little bit of stretch in it, um, I just find that it pulls a little bit more. You almost have to use a very rigid, um, something with like zero mechanical stretch or anything in it to really make that front fly look well. I mean, usually cotton twill is like really good as long as it doesn't have any elastane in it. Um, denim obviously works really, really well. Um, but yeah, since I'm using the elastic, I just thought to go ahead and um, just do the zippers. And I think that that works really, really well. Um, I did the same adjustments to the crotch on these, but um, I didn't shorten the legs any. I just left those as is. Um, yeah, did the scoop out in the crotch as well. Oh my gosh, I just, what a fun pair of shorts. And they make me happy and they make me feel better. So um, yeah, and I know that there's quite a few pa patterns out there that have the elastic in the back and are flat front, you know, the Pietras, um, Closet Core Pietras, which I have made a pair. I'm still really fighting with that pattern. I don't know what is happening. Although I think my last pair, um, I just haven't, you've seen them paired with other things, but I haven't shown you guys and actually introduced them. Um, I think the legs are too short on them now. I think I need like, it's a very delicate balance though. Cause there are high rises sit at the natural way. So you don't want the shorts too long. Cause then you look, they look ill proportioned, but I do feel like when I'm walking, I think I need like another inch to the length of those shorts. So we'll see. I may though venture into making the pants again. Um, just because I am much happier with the crotch of the most recent pair. I sized down um, on those. Anyway, we can talk more about those, but um, Love Notions even has um, the summer uh, key pants that um, are flat in the front with the elastic in the back. Um, it's just Stitch has the Belize shorts, the same thing. But there's just something about a functioning, 
uh, button and fly that, I don't know, just makes it feel more like real pants. And I really want to make a full length pair, I think, for the fall. Um, actually, I think a pair in some suiting, some wool suiting would be really cool because I think I could get away with elastic because most wool suitings are thinner um, and I think that that could be kind of cool so and give me a pair of long to the ground wide leg pants um, and I may even line them um, I think that would be like a lot of fun so that's kind of what I'm percolating around with this pattern but again if you don't have this one it is five dollars today you need to go get it <laughs> it's just such a good one one of my favorites um, and again so many um, Pinterest picks that I could would use this pattern for so it is a good one to have all right guys That's all I have for today. I have chatted at you long enough go head on over to love notions YouTube channel You can see me in action over there today um, Tuesday I have a very exciting um, Unboxing to show you a fantastic company. She's got such a great story such a great ethos I can't wait to talk about it um, on Tuesday and then um on Tuesday, obviously I film things before you see them, but actually on Tuesday I am going fabric shopping, I think. That's the plan right now, <laughs> in person. Um, so, and I've ordered some things off of Minerva and StyleMaker Fabrics that hopefully will be here. Um, so we'll see, maybe I can do a fabric haul on Friday and show you what I've got and kind of some loose plans for fall. Um, just a little bit more concrete as I move along. Um, I will do an actual final plans video, um, but I really want to wait until the um, <clears throat> Everyday Style Fall Capsule comes out, which is September 10th. So probably sometime after that, I will do my full fall plans for my own sewing. Also in the background, I am sewing for my daughter right now for um, her wardrobe. So we'll be showing sneak peeks of that and also my son's shoemaking journey. So <laughs> hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. All right, guys, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. You get lots of sewing in and I will see you on Sunday. Bye.